Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, so obviously with lockdown, things have sort of come to a standstill, but everything's starting to open back up again and a few craft fairs are starting up again, especially if they're outside ones. And I have one booked. So I did one, uh, sorry, lorries keep going past. Um, I did one at Christmas with my mum. It was very slow, there wasn't many people, the people there weren't really buying, so it wasn't the best. But then we didn't have a lot of stock either. So I decided there was a, a village um, near where I live and they are starting up a village market. So it's a bit like a cross between a craft fair and like a, a market, but a lot of it is all handmade, hand grown, a bit like a farmer's market, I suppose, but with more craft sort of things. And I am denied, and I shan't, I should, oh, you know, nervous, do I do it? And I thought, do you know what? Just do it. Just go along and, you know, you'll learn. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to go along. So I've done one and then I've booked in for the next week. Uh, so I don't know if it's something I will do every um, week because it's only a little village. I don't think people are going to be buying crochet stuff every week. Um, a lot of the people that bought that first week were my friends. Uh, not all of them. I did sell to other people as well. But, you know, there's only so much my friends can I've only got so many friends for a start and there's only so much that they can buy so I might do it maybe once a month and look for a specific craft fair that's once a month as well so but I'm going to show you um, what I took with me and um, give you some ideas of things that sold well or got a lot of interest or things that didn't really do that well so some of the stuff is just I just needed stock i needed to make sure i could fill my table so there's two wall hangings that i'd actually made for chloe and lucy um i hadn't given them to them yet they hadn't been hung up or anything i'd only just finished them but i thought i'm gonna have to take them and if they sell then that's fine great i'll just make the girls some more it's fine um but if they don't then it just shows what i can do so <laughs> the first thing is these wall hangings um like i call them the boho style wall hangings so i've got them too and bear with bear with the pink one as well um they didn't sell hence why i've still got them here but people you know did like them they got some interest which is good i just think sometimes because it was advertised as a market people thought they were going to go and get cheaper stuff but obviously you know this takes me time I sell it for the price I sell it at um, I wasn't going to sell it cheap just to sell because it's not worth it so um, I think sometimes people didn't want to pay that kind of price maybe I don't know so I took them some wall hangings um, and other wall hangings that I took were the little rainbow so I did them in all different colors so that they would <coughs> appeal to maybe children's nurseries uh, depending on their colour scheme that's a bit that one needs it's got a bit crinkled in the box so blue ones oh yeah, I need to re-straighten the, the tassels I straighten them um, and then I have I did have some traditional rainbows as well which I've been selling on my folksy shop as well I love that one but um they sold so that's good obviously but that means I can't show you so they look like this sort of color but bigger and more colors um and then yeah then I've got these I made some smaller ones and turned them into key rings so these sold quite well uh but I've got I made loads but yeah I think I sold them for about £3.50 each. And that and donut ones. <gasps> it's so cute. Another lorry going past. Didn't realise how many lorries went past my house until I tried filming a video. Uh, donuts and 
then some little hearts as well. Um, so, because I figured it's quite good to have some smaller items and then some bigger items. So that was my smaller items. I also made some rainbows and some little crochet balls and turned them into a garland because I love a garland. I just love a garland. It's got one, two, three, four, five rainbows on there and one, two, three, four, five, six little balls. So that's that as well. That's going to be listed on my folksy shop soon if you're as interested. Um, and then these I'd made for the fair in December and they're head, headbands. Um, my daughters love these. Just keep your ears warm in the winter. Uh, so they're nice and quick and easy thing to make and take to the craft fair. Um, you can find patterns for that on Pinterest and Ravelry that are free. So they're quite a good thing to do. Um, next thing that I make and I sell quite a lot of that sell really well are the face scrubbies. So I sell them in a pack of four. So I've got them bright ones. Uh, then I've got these grey and lilac ones. And then this is my favourite ones. Unfortunately, I can't remember which one it is, but I think one or two of them colours, I think it's the green, is discontinued, which is so annoying because I love them ones. Um, but yeah, I've got some more. So I sell them packs of four. Uh, I do have a little sign that I put up just so people um, know what they are because I think some people don't know what they are so just to explain it what you can do with them they're reusable eco-friendly um, yeah and then I also did some like face cloths as well so little washcloths in a pack of two uh, these we use loads of these in my house and these a lot uh, I just make up a few more um, having two teenage girls they like to use them so yeah I just make them up for them so I took them as well and then I've also been making another lorry goodness me uh, these little earrings I thought were really cute I mean I don't wear earrings because they irritate my ears but I really like these little sort of boho style earrings um, I didn't sell, I only took these two and didn't sell either of them, obviously I've got them here, but I was just selling them for about £5, which I thought was quite reasonable. I don't know, would you pay £5 for this? I would, if I wore earrings. Um, but they didn't really sell. I also made these sort of jar covers. So these are like olive jars that have been cleaned and whatever. And then I just work around in a in the circle in the round. I think they should have. I thought they were tall enough, but I think I should have added another row on. So they. So you can use these as a vase. I think they're quite nice as a vase. I did. I did sell one of these, which was my favourite one actually. Um, it was like a pink and cream checked one. Um, but yeah, or you can put pens and pencils in there, makeup brushes, let's say flowers, fake flowers as well. So I thought they, they were really nice. Um, the next thing I've been making as well are like little baskets. So I've got this one and then out of the same yarn as this, I also made like a teardrop one. No, I think these are really, I love them, but I don't think people knew what they were. So maybe I need to um, get some little fake succulents to go in there and hang down so people can see how to use them. Um, because I think people were just a bit like, well, well, what is that? What do you do with that? So that's a large one. And then I've got they're all made from cotton but slightly different so this one's like a um, cotton cord and this is just cotton so I've got them two good smaller ones and then I've also got this these two um, in the same 
type of yarn. I think this is by the DMC, uh, like extra large or something like that, but cotton. And then I think this one's a paint box cotton. Um, and I got that and that out of one ball. I don't know if I got any more out of it, but yeah, so the taking them, I think they're quite specific. You've got to be at the right place. People, as I say, don't really know what they are. I don't know. Um, and going back to wall hangings. Hang on, bear with me. Let me pick this up. Right, these, I love these. Love, 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 love. And I love this colour, this mint one. So these are um, dream catcher things. Now, again, I think you've got to get the right market because obviously you can buy dream catchers, like cheap ones in the shop, but obviously they're not handmade. But I love these ones. So this is a mint one. I also got grey. I've got another mint. I did have a few, I have sold a few of these. I've got like a darker green um, and another gray. I did have cream and like a, a purpley, pinky, dusky type pink, which was really nice as well. Um, but I sold all of them ones. So this is all I've got left, but they, I list these on my folksy shop as well. Um, but yeah, I really like them. I think, yeah, I don't know. A craft fairs are, are quite tricky sometimes, aren't they? You've got to have the right people. Um, and the, and um, especially with homeware stuff that I've been selling, is it's got to appeal to fit in with their home decor, if you like. You know, you get the right person who, who has, you know, this with a hanging succulent in it and you're on to a winner but if you turn up and that's not someone's sort of choice then it's no good um and then i took these along i said these this this a cushion um obviously i just did these made to order and i had a sign saying made to order and they did get quite a lot of um interest Unfortunately, I didn't have any cards or anything to give out to people, so I had to just write it down and it didn't look very professional at all. Um, but I did give out my details to a few people who were quite interested in these. And I think these are great. And I think they make really good Christmas presents coming up to Christmas. Um, I think it's a hundred and, I can't remember, hundred and something days, my daughters keep reminding me. Um, so yeah, that's what I took to the craft fair. Some of it, um, I just took more of the same type of thing. So the key rings, I think I had about 10 rainbow ones and about eight donuts. And I had another wall hanging that had Be Kind on it. Um, but I sold, I only did one because I, I did it as a, I designed it and did it as an Instagram thing. And so I only had one, but I sold that which was good. I did take like a, a couple of baby blankets as well. Just not that I expected to sell them there, but just to show people that what I could do and that if they wanted to order them in a different color way, then they can. So I did that as well. I did also have up some, I put up this bunting as well, which people could have bought if they want, but also just to add some color and to show what I can do. And again, that I can do it in different sort of color ways as well. And I also, oh, I just remembered, I did have these scrunchies as well. I only had two of them, um, but they're really, really super soft and really quick and easy to make. So they're quite a good one. I didn't really, I only had two. I think sometimes if you have more of the same thing rather than lots of bitty stuff, it's better maybe. I don't know. If anyone's got any tips on selling at a craft fair, then please let me know because um, I am learning and I will, I am going to do some more because I did enjoy it. Uh, oh, I've got some more little baskets here. I don't know, did I just show these? I don't think I showed these. Um, so some baskets, which I just love. I think they're so cool. Um, I 
that the people of the village fair didn't like them. Well, not that they didn't like them. They, as I say, I think people were coming to get their fruit and veg, their bread, their cakes, their meat, as opposed to coming to buy crocheted items, maybe. So, as I say, I think maybe a proper craft fair would be better. So if you've got any tips, let me know. But that's everything that I took to the craft fair. Hope it gives you some maybe some ideas that things you could take and sell or make. Um, if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, please. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.